Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so the other day I found this piece of Norway maple in one of the bags here on the ground uh, still waiting to be used not sure why I put it there uh, however it didn't have any splits and uh, so I'm just going to turn it uh, first as always we're going to remove all this bark section here and then we'll see what we can do what uh, with the shape that it's left here so this will go, I'll go on a screw chuck So I pulled camera a little further back so you can see a little bit of hands and body movement. So crank the speed up gradually. Uh, now actually what I'll do first is just going to check if this bark wants to come off easily. I mean, yeah, it does. So just scoop that out rather than it's flying around. So what I'll use is uh, this spindle gouge. Scoop up the corner first. So I forgot to adjust the microphone here so hopefully the audio is still okay. So I'm sure at the rim here, here I still feel the, the bark. Now it's the time to double check if there is any splits. Uh, now this is some green discoloration. Uh, I don't see any splits so that's very good now this bark section here actually goes quite deep inside so Still this section. Okay, so yeah, that's all of the bark gone. So that's quite good and this is now Actually, I still need to screw up the top. So this is now what I have got. And now we can decide what to do with it. So I think I'll go with this foot. Oh, I can increase the speed, everything is nice and true. Still using spindle gouge. Uh, what I think for this kind of wall, uh, really nice OG shape. Or, since I've done this, I kind of like rough texture here, but smooth here. So, I think I'll do something like that. So, first let's just, uh, this is ball gouge. Okay. 
Oh, this is sheer scraper. Kind of like this transition here. Actually, I'll position you a little bit better so you can see the shape of what I'm doing here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing in terms of shape. Um, like I said, I kind of like the texture here, but smooth here. Um, but this is a little bit too thick here. So I actually go with one more nice sheer cut. That's not the best cut. But I'll smooth it out later. And maybe actually here a little bit more scoop out. So let's do that. I need to sharpen the gouge, it's sort of pushing out of the cut. Let's try out now. Much better, but I'm going to smooth this section here a little bit better. So now with the shoe scraper just make a little OG here. So nice gentle strokes with the scraper. While I have it in my hand, I'm just going to smooth this. Okay, I'm quite pleased with this shape, kind of looks interesting and the surface is really nice, so that's really good. I can reduce the size of the foot here. Doesn't have to be this tall. And now with the spindle gouge, make a little bead here. Like so. Now what I have here is a um, thread chaser. This one is uh, from Carter and Son, uh, Mike Mahoney signature tool. So I'm just going to scrape this.
mask, yeah? Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I kind of like this. This can go in a truck. Grab the foot. So I position the camera a little further out uh, so you can see again a little bit about movement. And uh, now bow gouge. Just to chew up the top. I want uh, for this piece a little wider rim. I think that will look quite good. Yeah, I think that looks quite good and maybe what I'll do is I'm going to still uh, little put, put a little texture here at the rim just get this really nice and smooth again thread chaser and just here at the rim yeah kind of like that now i can hollow this out And here I would like this maybe a little undercut. Do I like leaving a rim here? Uh, like a bead portion I think I will leave this kind of raised area I just want to clean it up spindle gouge and then shear scraper get into that corner like that now again bow gouge
Now before I flatten the bottom, uh, this is a little bit too sharp, so pull gouge and just a light round over an old bolt scraper. Let's see. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Looks really, really nice. Show you the outside shape, the foot, the uh, texture here, and uh, the inside. So this lovely profile, then raised section here, and then scoop the pole part. So that's all looking quite nice, and uh, now hope you. So now hopefully you can see here. Um, I believe this is from my hands when I sharpened. I still had a uh, metal dust, and so I stained here. And this is from the chuck here uh, at the very bottom. Um, which I was careless, I should have put a little bit of plastic uh, so now what I can do is actually I can just um, fit this over chuck put a little pressure here and just uh, clean this a little bit before I put it in the microwave so now you can see it uh, before microwave and lovely details and everything quite happy with this uh, now this will go in a microwave for a full blast uh, so high settings in terms, terms of temperature um, for uh, one minute and then after that uh, let it cool down after that another minute maybe three four times like that but you have to let it cool down uh, completely so so let me show you how the rim looks here how much it's wavy you can see just right amount and it's a little bit of elongated which is expected and overall really nice I'm really happy how it turned out really nice so now maybe you can see it a little bit better and I flattened the the bottom so it will sit nice and stable although it's quite warped so Really nice piece, nice and simple, easy, and uh, now thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.